please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Please push in your chair. Salute. Put your right hand over your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. for me to wait is for COVID to end but what helps me is to think positive and hopefully they'll give us the vaccines very soon. A time for me when it's really hard to be patient is when I'm getting back my test result but what helps me be patient is when I think back on the work that I did. It's hard to be patient when you wait for a toy, but you just have to tell your, your yourself to be patient. A time when it was really hard for me to wait was when we ordered pizza and it was an hour late. It helps, it helps be patient if I tell myself that it will be there soon. A time it's hard for me to wait or be patient is when and my mom's getting off work and um, she usually works till eight o'clock. Um, it helps me be patient by, by saying that she'll get off work eventually. You can be a leader, I'm like waiting in line until you turn Patience is a virtue, you can learn yeah. Patience between you and me Go ahead and go first, it's all good with me Okay, you can go first on the video game I'll wait my turn and I won't complain A-T-I-E-N-C-E You gotta wait for it 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 so cool to show you can wait Being humble and gentle can be so great Right here is a place to start with the basics Feel one another in love and that's uh, patience uh, I learned you gotta wait your turn Everything in time I had to wait in line Hold up, wait, it'll all be cool With your fam at home or your friends at school Be patient A-T-I-E-N-C-E You gotta wait for it A-T-I-E-N-C-E You gotta wait for it A-T-I-E-N-C-E You gotta wait for it You gotta wait for it A-T-I-E-N-C-E How do mountains stay warm? They put on their snow caps. <laughs> what do you call it when a snowman throws a fit? A meltdown. Hey! <laughs>
What do snowmen call their kids? Children. <laughs> Good morning, boys and girls. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about some of the books we have in the library that illustrate our character trait of kindness. There are lots of books that show the trait of kindness, and you've probably read some different than these, because if you look really hard, you can find a little kindness in lots of stories and in lots of places around you. Kindness means being friendly, generous, considerate of other people. Open your eyes, pay attention. You may see someone around you that give you the chance to be kind. For example, in this story, Extra Yarn, this little girl finds a way to make a sweater for everyone she comes in contact with. Some of them are people, some of them are animals, and some are even trees. She's kind to everyone she comes in contact with. Maybe you might have a chance to help a friend who isn't feeling very well, like this story, A Sick Day for Amos McGee. Amos takes great care of the animals at the zoo. But one day, when he's not feeling very well, he doesn't go to work, and the animals decide they better go check on Amos to find out what's wrong. Maybe an act of kindness could be helping someone in your own family. In this story, A Chair for My Mother, this little girl is working really hard to save up money to buy her mother a big comfy chair because theirs burned in a fire. They've saved lots of money in the jar, and finally, well, you'll have to read the book to see if they get a chair for mother. Maybe you might have a lesson. Uh, remember that stories can have morals or lessons. Like in Aesop's Fables, there's a particular favorite fable I have, The Lion and the Mouse. And that story tells us that no act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted. And the little mouse definitely gets a chance to help someone bigger than him. Sometimes, if we're not paying attention, or if we're not thinking about others, you know, we get busy and sometimes we don't think about others, we might miss a chance to do an act of kindness. In this story, Each Kindness, Chloe learns a very valuable lesson that sometimes you miss your chance to be kind. In this story, A Whale, The Boy and the Whale, we read this book last year on our Arkansas Diamond Award list, and we read that this little boy, all by himself, saved a whale that was trapped in fishing net, even though it was kind of a dangerous and scary thing to do. We might have to step out of our comfort zone just a little bit to do an act of kindness for someone around us. In this story, The Invisible Boy, we find out that sometimes kids might feel invisible or they might think nobody's noticing them. Maybe nobody's asked them to play with them or maybe nobody invited them to their birthday party. In this story, Brian feels a little bit invisible then he gets a chance to help a new boy who comes to school so that he will not feel invisible and he makes a new friend. Maybe you can look for a special way to include someone today. That's definitely an act of kindness. This story is brand new to the library. It's one of my favorites. It doesn't have a lot of words, but it's a great story. It's called Bear Needs Help. Now you might think, what would a bear need help with? They're big. They're strong. Well, maybe Bear doesn't know how to tie his shoes. Or maybe there's a surprise ending at the end of this book. Finally, of course, everybody knows the story of Horton Here's a Who. And in that story, we know a person's a person no matter how small. An act of kindness is important, whether it's a big act or a small act. At the end of January, we're gonna be celebrating the Great Kindness Challenge, and we're gonna look for ways that we can show kindness to other people all the way between now and the end of January. Next week, I'll show you a few more books in the library that talk about kindness. Can you find someone to be kind to today? I'm sure gonna to try. 
Boys and girls, as you know, when you come into the library on the front table, right before you get to the check-in desk, we always feature books of the month. We've had our snow books there. We're going to move those temporarily. I'll show you where those are later. But you can find all the books I talked about on the kindness video today, as well as new books I'm going to add for the rest of January, all about books showing kindness. You can get them at your library. the people to be creative. It provides an opportunity for, for unleashing our imagination. Play isn't just fun and games. It is also an important teaching tool. When we use our imagination, we come up with new ideas and solutions to challenges. And play benefits our creativity. This week's Red Positivity Challenge is to create a class silly face. Have fun making each other laugh. Jump and jump and save Hey, my name is Luis. I am in East of planning what to plant in our school garden. Please fill out the survey on the Tyson website and tell us what you think. Hi boys and girls. We are about to do our Tyson Tiger song, so I just wanted to let you know how we're gonna do it this year in order to stay safe. So for right now, um, the rules are that we are not able to sing unless we can space really far apart, at least six feet. And so since it's hard to do that in our classrooms, we are not going to sing. Instead, we're going to just sing it in our heads. And we're going to do the motions. We're going to keep the steady beat. And when it comes to the part where you know, we can learn and reach and grow, we're going to do all those motions. At the end, we're going to do the T, Y, S, O, N. So you can do all the motions for that, but just sing it in your heads and participate with us with keeping a steady beat. So um, we hope you enjoy. This is a video of us doing the Tyson Tiger song, and here we go. Mm -hmm. 